Good morning, grade four girls. How are you today? Today we will complete our lesson. What is the design process? Today is Monday, 27 April 2020. Open page 360 and write the date, please. Listen objectives. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to communicate the steps in the design process and will use the design process. Now we finished from, um, we studied last uh, yesterday, uh, the three steps of the design process. Today we will complete the other steps. Step number four, choose one solution in the design in the design process several factors can influence the solution that you choose so in the design process we have several factors can influence the solution that you choose the solution must solve the problem you identified the solution must also be affordable if you solution cost too much you may not be able to sell it so this this factor very important so the cost if the cost too much you cannot you may not be able to sell it the amount of time you have you have can also affect which solution you choose also safety is another factor to consider when choosing a solution When choosing a solution, engineers have to make a trade off. If a plain design is fast, but not safe, so a safer design should be chosen. You should save all the plans you have for other possible solution because you, you may need in them in the future. So the, the safety is very important to when you design the airplane. What is a prototype? Step number five, design and construct a prototype. Next, you need carefully to construct a prototype using the plans you may have created for that solutions. What is the meaning of prototype? All of you repeat it with me. Is the first fully working product that uses your design solutions. So a prototype is the first fully working product that uses your design solutions. You should identify the materials and tools you need to construct your solution. So it's very important to choose your materials and identify your materials and tools you need to construct your solutions like flexibility strength and hardness are three important properties you might consider when choosing material different tools are also used to complete different tasks of solutions so different tools are you or used for completing different task of the solutions. The Wright brothers built several gliders. I show you two kinds of more than one shape of gliders and airplanes as they searched for solution to the problem of controlling flight. Give me some example for important properties you must consider when you choose materials. When you choose materials, you have it has to be fl the flexibility, the strength, and the hardness. So again, flexibility, strength, and hardness. After building a prototype, this oriental engineer will test in a wind tunnel. So after building a prototype, this or this engineer will test in a wind tile. So, oriental engineer will test in 
a wind tunnel, okay? Now, we can read for us question number six, cause and effect. Underline the factor that may affect which solution you choose to build. So, all of you please underline the solution must solve the problem you identified and the solution must be affordable and costs, I told you that cost is too, if the cost too much, you may not be able to sell it, your solution. And also the time, the time is very important. Question number seven, who can read this for us? What material do you think the Wright brother used to construct the wings of their plane and why? The answer is, I think they used wood and the cloth because the wings needed to be flexible. The wings needed to be flexible. Thank you, my dear students, for your listening. And tomorrow we will complete our lesson, inshallah.